good morning everyone today in this class i will be saying about unit 4 that is irrigation channels and silt theories regarding this let us go into the definition of channel first what is meant by channel channel or generally it can be called as canal okay now canal is an artificial channel and it will be in a trapezoidal shape the shape of channel or a canal will always be in trapezoid and this canal this trapezoidal shaped canal is generally constructed for carrying of water from source to the point okay now let us consider the source as your reservoir or dam or it may be a river any of these things this is considered as your source and your point will be your irrigation fields or it may be your uh, power supply stations where you will be having water source okay now this is about the definition of your canal okay let us go once again into the definition a canal is considered as an artificial channel which is constructed in the shape of a trapezoidal notch and that is constructed on ground surface and it is either connected to a river or a reservoir this is called as your canal now let us go into the classifications of canals generally these canals are classified into six types the main types of your canals i'll be writing it here okay let us see it classifications of canals in these classifications of canals are generally subdivided into six categories in which your first one will be classification based on source and the second one is classification based on financial output and the third one is classification based on function of canal and the fourth one is classification based on boundary surfaces okay fifth one is classification based on discharge and the last classification is classification of canal based on alignment okay these are the six different categories of your classifications in canals now let us go into the sub classifications of this main canals okay in which your first one is source this source is again subdivided into permanent canal and the second one is inundation canal this classification based on source is generally subdivided into two types first one is your permanent canal and the second one is your inundation canal now let us discuss about your permanent canal permanent canal is said to be a permanent when it is fed by a permanent source of supply means this should be connected to a perennial river which will be going out throughout the year where the source of water will be continuous throughout the year in the form of solids or in the form of liquid okay the water may be in the form of solid or it can be a liquid it can be in any of the states when such a canal is constructed which is connected to a perennial river and which is going to go through throughout the year it is called as a permanent canal okay now let us come to your inundation canal inundation canal usually comes under supplies of rivers when there is a high stage in the river and this cannot provide water throughout the year okay there is no scope that it is going to provide water throughout the year and it is no of no guarantee that the water can flow throughout the year when it comes to your permanent the water supply will be throughout the year when it comes to your inundation inundation canal we cannot expect that water is going to flow throughout the canal throughout the year okay now let us come to the next classification that is classification based on your financial outputs okay we we generally know that term finance finance is nothing but returns to the government in form of revenue here 
this financial output is another again subdivided into two categories first one is productive canal and the second one is protective canal okay let us discuss about productive canal productive canal is a canal which is going to give a yield and in a source of net revenue to the nation after its development okay once the canal is constructed once its development is done at that point it is going to give a net revenue to the nation that is why it is called as a productive canal okay now let us discuss the second type that one is your protective canal protective canal is said to be a protective canal when it is going to sort or relieve the work of construction and it is going to protect a particular area from famine okay we know that we are going to have we are going to face two kind of situations when there is excess of water and when there is deficit of water when we are having excess of water we will be having the famine sorry yes flood conditions and when it comes to this deficit of water we will be having drought conditions famine is nothing but your drought conditions and when water is going to be supplied through through the canal during this drought or famine conditions will be protecting that area from famines that is why it is called as a protective canal this financial output is sub classified into two types first one is productive canal and the next one is protective canal production is nothing but it is going to provide a net source of income when it comes to protective it is going to protect from the my situations okay this is another classification now we'll be discussing the third classification okay classification based on function of canal this classification is again subdivided into five types in which first one is irrigation canal second one is carrier carrier canal third one is feeder canal fourth one is navigation canal and the last one is power canal okay now let us discuss about irrigation canal irrigation canal is nothing but a source which is going to carry water to the agricultural fields when we are going to give supply of water to the agricultural fields it is called as your irrigation canal okay next one is carrier canal a carrier canal is also a irrigation canal and it will carry water for another canal source that is why it is called as a carrier canal it is not only a source of irrigation water but also gives supplies to another canals for that reason it is called as a carrier canal for example we can take it as this chinab canal in west punjab in pakistan that is been taken as a best example for a carrier canal where it is going to give supply for doing irrigation and also carries water for another canals the next category is feeder canal a feeder canal is constructed with the idea of feeding two or more canals here we don't use this feeder canal for any kind of irrigation but this canal is generally constructed for creating a feeding for two or more canals the best example for these feeder canals are rajasthan feeder canal and sri hind feeder canals these are the two best examples where we will be seeing that water supply is giving source to two or more channels okay now the another type is navigation canal we all know about navigation navigation is nothing but transportation from one point to another point by means of water okay that is how it is creating a source this navigation canal is going to create a source from one point to another point by means of a transportation that is why this is called as a navigation canal and the last one is power canal we all know about power electricity power is nothing but electricity generation here this power canal is also supplied for generation of power the water coming from this kind of uh, canal is generally used for power or electricity generation for that reason this is called as your power canal these are the five types of your 
functions based on which this can also are classified. Now we will be going for the next category. Classification of canals based on boundary surfaces. Okay, now in this boundary surfaces again or again subclassified into three types in which your first one is alluvial, the next one is non-alluvial and the last one is rigid boundary. Okay, now let us discuss about alluvial surfaces. Alluvial surface is nothing but when a canal is constructed on a silty soil. When a canal is constructed on any kind of silt, it is called as an alluvial canal. And this is excavated in alluvial soils. Okay, for that reason it is called a alluvial canal. Now let us discuss about non-alluvial canals. This non-alluvial canal is one which is excavated in low clay or hard soil. It may be called as mura. Okay. When a canal is excavated in silty low or clay or hard soil, it is called as non-alluvial canal. And the third category is rigid boundary canals. This rigid boundary canals is having a rigid surface or rigid sides when compared to the other two sources or two boundaries. Okay, here in this rigid boundary, we'll be having two hard strata on its sides. When this excavation is done in the soil, if we find a hard strata or a rigid surface that is uh, creating a lined canal, which is going to create a lined canal. This is called as a rigid boundary canal. These are the three different types of canals based on boundary surfaces. Now, we will be discussing about the fifth point. Classification based on discharge. This classification based on discharge is again subdivided into five types. In which your first one is main canal, second one is branch canal, Third one, major distributary. Third, fourth one, minor distributary. And the last one is water course. Okay. Now let us discuss about main canal. This generally carries water directly from the river or a reservoir. And this is going to create a heavy supply. And this is not used for direct irrigation. For these reasons, it is called as a main canal. Okay. This main canal also acts as water carrier to feed supplies to branch canals and major distributaries. This is about main canal. Next one is your branch canal. We know main a branch canal is nothing but a connection which is branched by your main canals. We will be having a main line like this, main supplies and this supplies will be created to some sources or some branches. Because of creating of this sub sources, these are called as your branches. This will be your main canal and these are called as your branch canals. Okay, these are not going to create any main source. This will be a branch source. And now, we will be discussing about the third category. Oh, sorry. We have one more point to discuss here in branch canals. These branch canals are usually feeder canals for major and minor distributaries. And the discharge will be over 5 cumex. Discharge in this branch canals will be over 5 cumex. Okay. Now, let us go to the next topic. That is your major distributary. This major distributary is also called as Rajba. This major distributary is also called as Rajba. Okay. This is going to create a discharge which is less than the branch canal. Okay. We know that branch canal is going to give a supply of over 5 cumex. And this major distributary is going to create a lesser quantity of discharge comparatively to your branch canal and this discharge will be around 1 by 4 to okay i'll be writing here 
1 by 4 to 5 cum x. Okay. This is the discharge going to be created by your major distributary. They are real irrigation channels in the sense that they are supplying water for irrigation to the field throughout the outlets provided along them. Okay. For this reason, it is called as a major distributary. Okay. Now, let us discuss about minor distributaries. We know that major distributary is going to create one fourth to five cumics of water discharge. When we compare this major and minor distributaries, the discharge will be usually less than one fourth cumics. Here in this minor distributary, discharge will be less than one fourth cumics. That is why this is called a minor distributary. And this supplies water to the water courses through outlets provided along them. Okay. Now, the last one is your water course. Water course is also called as a field channel. This is a small channel which is going to ultimately feed the water to irrigation field. This is finally going to create a supply of water to the field. That is why this is called as your water course and it is also called as your field channel or small channel. Okay, that is about discharge. Now we will be discussing the last category that is classification based on canal alignments. And this canal alignment is generally subclassified. I will be writing it over here because I don't have space over there. Okay, I will be writing the main heading over here. It is classification based on alignment and this alignment is again subclassified let me change the color first classification based on alignment and this classification is divided into three categories first one will be your contour canal next one is your watershed canal and the last one will be your side slope canal. Okay, now this will be showing in the cross section of canal. In canal alignment, we will be showing what are this? Contour canals, watersheds and side slope canals. We have a cross section over here and I will be showing the canal alignment in which we have all these three categories of aligned canals. Okay.